on Sunday, I witnessed something great. I've seen a lot of great things in sport, but Sunday probably takes the cake. My mate, John McLean, had been in a wheelchair for 26 years, paraplegic, only recently learned how to walk again through this revolutionary uh, muscle technique or, or nerve stimulation technique, completed the Nepean Triathlon as an able-bodied athlete. He said it's the hardest thing he's ever done. So this is pretty big, uh, a pretty big comment from a guy that swung the English Channel. He's done the Hawaiian Ironman as a disabled athlete. He's won a, Olympic gold medals in the paraplegic games. So a big call for him to say that's the hardest thing he's ever done. And with eight Ks to go, what struck me the most was he was in a lot of pain and hurting, and that's when he told me this. So he still had eight Ks to go, it was the hardest thing he'd ever done to that point. So well done, John, you've done it. Um, I'll give you a little bit of context. I met John through Steve Waugh. Steve rang me, he said, my mate has challenged me to do a triathlon with him. And he goes, you've got to get me fit, because I can't say no, he's a paraplegic, and he wants to do an able-bodied one. So he goes, what excuse have I got? Well, let me just tell you, Steve tore his groin five days before the event on the weekend, did a 16 centimetre tear in his groin, he, or that's what he carries on about. Um, but he still wanted to be a part of it, so he he got himself through it. He had a couple of uh, physio sessions with the great Errol Alcott. Uh, Errol said, nah, no way you're doing it. So Huda, we've proved you wrong. And, and Tugger was saying that, mate, found a new cure for a grade three tear in your groin. Uh, just get some volume in it straight away. So that went pretty well. Uh, it was just a fantastic day. So we've been training for that for about six months. John's only just been able to do a bit of, fair bit of walking now since he's got his braces right. But just a great effort, John. Well done. What next, who knows? He's 48, he can do anything. Uh, can I just ask that we do some something more exotic next time? Maybe the Bahamas, a half marathon? Uh, Nepean was nice, but I reckon Bahamas might be better. Next, what's Jock Athletic got coming up? The Australia Day Running Festival and the program for it. So we never sit still here. The Running Festival on this beautiful beach starts down there. Uh, we've got a six kilometre soft sand race through the sand hills for the absolute lunatics out there. And also the Jane McGrath Classic, which is two and a half kilometres on the soft sand to raise money for the McGrath Foundation. So a great cause. My mother and Jane also died of breast cancer, so very close to our heart. Um, come along, see you on Australia Day. Apparently Steve Waugh is going to be there as well. And we'll see you soon.